And I want you guys to see something. Look at the sand here, full of a lot of shells and stuff. Look at the sand. A lot of people might be asking, people must be asking, what kind of sand is this? What kind of shell? Look at these things. Look at this. Even in the sand, there's beauty. Look at this little thing. You know, all these things here. I remember God said the heavens are clear, the handiwork of God, the earth, and the firmament show it. I'm probably messing, messing up the phrase, but paraphrasing it. Think about it. We walk on it and don't even realize. Not that we don't realize, but we got to give credit what's due. Who could have done such a thing? To make all these things there, even with the rocks there. I mean, you say the planners put all these rocks in specific spots at the exact same point, knowing exactly when I'll be here, exact time on exact year. Nice rocks, nice stuff in the meantime. And the sand and the, and the I mean, where does sand come from? Crushed rocks, right? But how come there's still sand here? And the ocean's not over here covering the whole sand. Look at the rocks. Where did that come from? Oh, here's something. So here's man, I think manly intervention. So there's a buffer here. So I think this is gonna hold it, hold it together. On the isn't it? Like a kind of retainer wall type stuff. Um, and you can feel it sitting on the rocks here. Maybe that part's a loose part. I'm not certain. You can probably fill me in. But like stuff like that. Let me show you the color rocks I'm talking about. Look at these rocks. This must have looked like it's brought in. But I could be wrong. But look at the rocks. You can just see the color of the rocks. This is this is cool. I see they're still shiny on the rock. These are the ones shining in the daytime. I tried to take some home the last time. They're so beautiful. I like to see rocks and stones. I grew up in the Caribbean with a lot of rocks and big stones. <laughs> so we're not, this is not strange to us, but look at the color rocks in these things. Well, it's not kind of like a broken brick or shield, but look at these, you know? And people can decorate their houses like I saw in, 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 in Arizona. Just graveling rocks. I'm gonna keep this one as a souvenir. These are graveling rocks. Look at this one too. That is a souvenir. Now I see people coming to fish. Oh, yeah, beautiful. That is a souvenir. I hear my little friend, a lizard, if you can see him there between the rocks they're everywhere so they have it like um people decorate their homes with pebbles and stuff because if it is more dry and arid so instead of them having to necessarily go on like you know and like um water water irrigation and stuff you know they pretty much just they're just gonna put pebbles and rocks and it actually looks good and the colors are warm stuff is good in the walking man and family right they can they're talking to themselves let me speak quite special you what's going on there we're all trying to raise the sunset a bit and see. But look at the fishing, so they know what they're going to do. They're going to catch something at night time. Oh, no. Jesus, there's some paddle out there, man. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead still. Right. So people come and look, so I guess the tide brings in. Maybe the tide's working on tide. So here's what, what, what one of the workers just told me here. So over there is another place called let me see, I and I keeping it real over here at Ponce Inlet, right? Some people call it Mosquito Bay. I think it's another name for it. Also New Smyrna Beach. Let me know, cause I'm thinking, you know, I'm still new to Florida. So I'm just looking at beaches and saying, I just love all the stuff I'm seeing. Houses all across the land over there. Said, over there, it's another area. To get there, it's called New Smyrna Dunes. You probably seen a thousand million, hundred billion videos and travel. But I'm like, hey, you never know. Maybe a little extra detail I can actually speak. But they go, they, you can get over there through another road go back out, go across the bridge and go back, and then go back in the lighthouse. Let me show you, for those who want to catch a sunset, you just may catch a sunset. What is so interesting about sunsets? You know, like, like um, waterfalls and stuff? But do you ever notice something also? When you go to sleep after, you had a long, hard day of working. And let me show you my, sh my shirt real quick. New shirts, right? It says, it says, brave, brave. I think it says brave one. All day, all, all, all day what? All day, every day. This is a shirt I got from Walmart. But even stuff like this here, little, little like lagoons and stuff there. I would say maybe the extra water runoff goes inside there, but I would say just for safety wise, it goes from all this on the water line there. I would say not to go in there too much at nighttime. You know, most things come to hunt at night, but look at these big birds. Remember I asked another video, would it be better to live as a bird or a stock of corn? I mean, right now, I prefer a bird compared to that, but look how they fly in unison over the water, just going in the distance. And they're just gliding over the water. I mean, the earth is so beautiful. So beautiful. And here's what many of the things you can look, but please don't touch it. So you can we'll take you to another area one day called, um, I think, Blue Coral or Blue State Park. Where they have other areas too, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing, but they said the manatees tend to come there a lot. 
Typically, the best time to come is during the winter time, during like January, February, March area. It's only a lot of them, like hundreds of said congregate there. So, it might be a good thing to come there. But then, right now, we're walking to the dog park. Let me show you. We're walking there. I'm showing you the sunset while I walk and talk. I'll go back and forth so you can see. I guess you want to see sunset, sunrise. Just, yeah, I was talking about, yeah, but what happens on the end of the day? When you go to sleep after a long day, I see you're exhausted. Somehow, when you go to sleep, and I need to do it myself before you end. You get up and you feel something has changed. Something has changed. The day it feels different. Something has changed. It's like, look at the color. Look at the stratification. You could have done such a thing. Look at this one. It's like shiny, glistening. Oh, man. Nice. Listen to the sound of it, too. Rocks make a nice sound. Listen to this. Like, you see the movies? Like, when they wake up, it's like a gravel fountain. Those sound effects. Now you see it come from. I mean, some of the sound effects you hear in movies and stuff is like maybe from here they come, like this. And this, these Apple, thank you so much for making such great phones. Listen to the, listen to the sound. Avalanche. Somebody's like, what is that beating rocks? How can we find here? My lord, look at this rock. And listen to the, let me see. Wow, oh, amazing. Amazing. Let's see. Back to the sunset. Beautiful. Where is the heading to the destination? And the humans, they're doing their part. That's just a nice overlook. We're gonna go to the dog park. I'm cutting it short to make sure I can upload it easy. Talk to you in a bit.